Hi, my name is Polarity. Good to have you back. The Clock Quantizer in Bitwig Studio is probably my most favorite module. There's actually no grid patch in which it does not appear. So I want to dedicate this video to that module. There will probably be a simpler, less complicated video on my Bitwig Guide channel, but here I just want to express my appreciation a little more. As the name suggests, the module can quantize signals. Not in which steps the signal changes its value, but rather when the state changes. It quantizes the point in time, so to speak. And the great thing is that you can choose which other time signal you want to quantize something to. And in most cases, for me, that's a steady trigger every 16 note of a bar. Surprising thing about the module is that I haven't found any Eurorack module that does exactly the same thing as the clock quantizer. And even in BCV Rack, I only found one module, thanks to the BCB guru Omri Cohen. I can hardly understand why, since the module can quickly sort out chaotic rhythms. In this example, I quantize a manual trigger to an 8 node of a bar signal. And you can see in the top oscilloscope when I trigger a signal. In the middle scope, you can see the quantization signal. And in the bottom scope, you can see that the manual trigger is delayed until the next event in the quantization signal happens. In other words, we delay our triggering so that it fits into the rhythmic grid. Let's replace the manual trigger with something else. I take a second trigger module and quantize it to the first. It gets interesting here when we select values where the division of the signals does not result in a natural number. This often results in interesting rhythms because some triggers are delayed and others are allowed to pass because they fit exactly the quantization signal. You can play with all kinds of signals and try to quantize them. There are no limits to the possibilities. Often the module can be seen as a sort of organizer, cleaning up your wild rhythmic experiments and giving them structure. This allows generative experiments to be quickly adapted to the songs and traditional structures. You should also note that the gate length of the signal to be quantized is lost during the process and is replaced by the length of the clock signal. If you want to change this, you have to make a little extra effort and quantize the gate off as well. In this example, we use filtered noise and a delay to create vinyl crackle. We use the crackle as a signal and try to quantize it with our clock signal. As a result, we get interesting random triggers that are perfectly synchronized. You can also find on my channel a video on how to use the clock quantizer to extract grooves from drum loops and make use of them. The link is in the description. These four percussion sounds each play their own rhythm. Way too wild for a groove. If we quantize each signal to a clock signal, it quickly becomes more orderly and a nice groove appears. Perfect for fast and interesting drum patterns. You can now modulate the clocks freely and don't have to worry about getting out of rhythm. 
I hope you learned something from this video. And maybe you also want to try out the clock quantizer in Bitwig Studio. It's a great module and I use it a lot. If you liked the video, leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and bye.